A lot of indoor and vertical farming system has been on the rise for new years now. And nowadays, this kind of farming system has become even more advanced and smarter. But today, you will see some totally advanced AI-based farming systems that are at another level. Hi everyone, Arthur is back with something amazing to show you. So don't forget to subscribe and get notified to keep you updated with what's new in here. And so without further ado, here we go. Number one is South Korean farmers embrace high-tech methods. In the quest to grow the perfect fruit, this is one strawberry farm that is increasingly turning to smart technology. Every aspect of growing environment is carefully regulated. From the amount of sunlight let in to the water and fertilizers used, it's helping to compensate for the loss of young people not wanting to go into farming like their parents. Smart farm technologies in South Korea help reduce the need for manpower in rural areas where they do not have enough workers. South Korea's government is encouraging farmers to adopt smart farm technologies to deal with the shortage of workers in rural areas. Number two is South Korea's indoor farming technology helps crop production in the Middle East. Efforts to solve the global issue of food security is ongoing across the globe. One solution is turning to alternative farming methods. Natural sunlight is replaced with artificial lighting and water levels. Air temperatures and humidity can be adjusted with just a few clicks. Farms can also be monitored remotely from South Korea, even from a smartphone and conditions can be adjusted to optimize plant growth. This way of farming can produce quality food all year round, without being affected by the weather, natural disasters, or disease. Number three is Singapore farms use artificial intelligence. Whether it's irrigation or fertilizer use, smart farming makes these processes automated. Singapore's Verde Veggies and Blue Aqua International Group employ artificial intelligence and other advances in Internet of Things as part of the country's move to becoming a leading urban agriculture and aquaculture technology hub. Number 4 is Sweden's Vertical Farms Solve Global Food Shortages The coronavirus crisis has disrupted global food supply chains, leading to shortages in some countries. The World Bank warns 130 million people could be at risk of starvation. 
but an increasingly popular urban farming system could provide a solution. These very modern farm hands are bringing in the crops from a vertical farm. Plants growing from the walls instead of the ground. No tractors required, just a pair of scissors and artificial intelligence. Number 5 is Indoor Farming and Veiled in Las Vegas. Oasis Biotech is owned by San An Opto Electronics Company. It's a Chinese technology company who saw success with hydroponic farming efforts in China but wanted to grow the concept internationally. With Las Vegas being a region full of restaurants with high demand for quality fruits and vegetables and a city that currently imports the great majority of its food, the company began to explore Southern Nevada as its new North American headquarters. Number 6 is Dubai's Ultra Modern Vertical Farm. The United Arab Emirates relies heavily on food imports, and Dubai is no exception to that. However, food security is of concern, especially in the region where geopolitical tensions may arise unexpectedly. The UAE started buying and leasing agricultural lands in East Africa and in other countries to prevent food shortages even in times of crisis more than 10 years ago. But they aim to eradicate dependence on food imports, giving birth to different agricultural strategies such as stockpiling and ultra-modern agriculture. And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.